Welcome back to another episode of the Social Experiment, baby. This week, we're going to... Can y'all hear me good? <clears throat> we're going to an indie event, independent for those that aren't hip and don't know. And it's going to be a movie. Whole lot of dope stuff going on. You already know. I got the tag handles going across the bottom for all the people that have not followed us. But for all the people, I want to shout out all the listeners, all the viewers, and everybody that follows us on social media. That is real love. Let's keep it going. Keep the positive vibes going. Like I said, we're going live all night. We're going to have actual interactive videos this time. And that's it. So let's go ahead, go in here. We're going to get it cracking, okay? Let's get it. Talk to him. Yeah, and I'm forced to integrate in this world for the hate that you created, and I want to escape. I'm tired of my people being beaten and raped. Wait, let me explain of my deepest pain that I'm forced to maintain while my people are poisoned. Still no clean water for Flint today. Shoot yourself. 2016, things make it sweet, but I guess the love was never fair. Your truth. This one is yours, truth. Yours truly. This one is yours truly. Let me see my one more time. Yours truly. This one is yours truly. Yours truly. This one is yours truly. Be this for the fun that shot the lyric. Been around me roll for us. But I swear I feel something different. We was living for each other with no foundation. Guess that's why the limits flourish. Better intentions, living for the present, trying to bring the futures of our own with no distractions involved. I love you like no other. I think you feel the same. But 500 miles away, I'm a treat like it's just the same. It's not a right idea, but I walk with God by my side. Be better with you and Him too. It's a smooth ride. Right. Say it's a sin. Mistakes was made. This might never matter. I love changing up with you and write a better chapter. How did you feel being up on like being on stage like performing in front of people like what gets your mindset ready to perform in front of people? To get my mindset ready really it's just I want to make my music stand out for everybody else. I want to I want to give a different personality. I want you to help me as I'm getting on the stage. Like mm -hmm. off the stage I'm I'm a cool individual but it's like on stage I want you to see that my music is it's real life. Like people say, people say they make music. That's about real life. But it's like I'm actually. These are situations that I'm going through every day. It's like the song yeah, "Yours Truly." My girl is in the room watching me perform the song I wrote about her. Oh yeah, that's oh true. yeah, that's, that's, that's like big. That. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's, crazy. That's, that's like emotional, bro. Right. So to the people, you know, to the listeners and the, the loyal viewers, mm -hmm. what song would you like suggest for them to listen to? Like if they want to get a full glimpse of 
Ace Boogie. They want to really know who Ace Boogie is. They want to really like step into the life of Ace it's Boogie. It's coffee for me. It's coffee for me. I don't know. We ain't talking else. about you. We talking about Ace. We talking about Ace Boogie himself. We talking <laughs> to the artist. Coffee for me. Cause you're not just hip hop. You're an artist. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you had to recommend a song for people to get a full glimpse of who you are, what would right. that be? Man, I would say listen to the songs. I'm gonna roll with Jalen. Listen to the song Coffee. Still I stand. Yours truly. Uh -huh. Yours truly. Same. That's my okay. list. Okay. That's a statement. Okay. Oh, those, yeah. are, those are the four songs that really that really connect to me as a person. And, and it's well chronological. It's chronological right. in a way. Everything yeah. goes in order. Yeah. It's like the situations I go through. It's like I just I write them down and I make sure I mention them. Yeah. To where people know me. That's right. real. So you heard you heard the four songs you recommended. If you don't listen to them four songs, that means not only do you not mess with Ace Boogie, you don't mess with the Ice Cream Social, and we'll take that. Careful. Ah, we'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that personal. So listen to my man's four songs. Scratch that. Really? Listen. They can listen to the whole album. Exactly. Exactly. Listen to the Okay. Nice to meet you, remastered. Tell, tell them the website again. I don't think they really heard they it. Here, they here. Familygrind.com. Okay. Go to artists. Okay. You're gonna see my name. Okay. Click on "Nice to meet you, remastered." Okay. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and buy buy a Downriver Detroit shirt or any family okay. grind apparel. Okay. All for the low lows. And then the Ice King Social Apparel as well. We out since here. y'all want to feel considered and okay. everything. Since y'all want to, you know, tis the season Astronaut to give. Astronaut status. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, ice cream. you heard it here live. Ace Boogie live in the flesh. Yeah. Okay. Please let the record show that my song doesn't come with a clean version. I'm not a perfect person, I ain't ends. So you either loved it or you really didn't deserve it. My life is not the type of tune that will cater to you or your comfort. And there's never an easy way to say it, that's why I just say that my song doesn't come with a clean version. It's literally littered from the verses to the chorus with all sorts of mutilation, bad decisions, and some intentional destructive behavior, the kind that clearly calls for some type of counseling or savior. Needless to say that my song will never be played on your favorite radio ah! stations. Okay. And I keep thinking about this fight or flight response that I learned about in basic training. It's that response that happens in the moment when you're attacked and your survival is threatened. You got a choice to make. You're either going to fight or you're going to fight. I like to think that I was a fighter. I like to believe that. And if anything came at me, I would just naturally choose to fight back. But when life decided to take me by surprise, surprisingly, I chose flight. Attempted suicide at least five times, I think. The thought ran through my mind countless times on repeat. And if my happiness was a person back then, it'd be something like that distant cousin that doesn't come to the family functions as much as they once did. Mm. Depression would have been that needy, clingy ex that I finally got the balls to call and break up. <laughs> okay. I really didn't realize I was too good for her until it was over and I started growing. I started feeling like I was able to see the light at the end of that tunnel I had been running down for years now and the light was literally falling off of me like the leaves fall off the trees and the breeze in the fall season and it would seem that I'm no longer a mustard seed. It would seem that it feels good to be me. No longer that rose that rose from in between those cracks in the concrete. Woo! Feels good to be the people that watched the video and they saw the poem that you talked about, you know, I really felt it personally. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, could you like give people a kind of description of where that came from, like how you came about? You know, like where did it come from? You yeah, know? yeah. Like what part right of your heart, left, right, down, right, all that? <laughs> <laughs> we, we might have to crop this man out right here. We might have to crop him out. Don't crop on my new friend. You ain't gonna do him like that. <laughs> Chill on me. <laughs> Basically, the first one, the, this crazy, but I wasn't even gonna share that first one that I read off of my phone. Mm -hmm. But then I had this like, it's like, what you call it, an epiphany. Oh, okay, but okay. My Lyft driver changed my life last night. <laughs> Shout out to Lyft. Shout out to Lyft. I, Liv. I had just got Get off the Get you that ride when you too drunk. He irritated. I, I just. <laughs> hey, Lyft, you gotta pay us for that, right? Yeah, there. yeah. Just <laughs> advertising all day. Ice cream so All right, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to pick up and you'll keep it with me. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, I told him, um, we started talking about art or whatever. I told him I was doing this. And I was telling him I had a poem, but I ain't really want to share it. And he, a veteran, turns out he had like suicidal thoughts. He went to the. 
Yeah, the worst, like worst that I had ever been. So honestly, that made he feel he, his story kind of made me feel a little bit more comfortable about sharing what I was going through. Cause it ain't, you know. That's real. Yeah, cause it's over and I'm not there anymore. He said that that's something you should be proud of. It's something you can inspire other people. So I thought maybe it needed to be heard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, the second one I just got cheated on. It's what happened. Oh, that's Where every good song comes from. <laughs> comes from heartbreak. A long time coming. Since I had the crown, I just kept on running. I done fell down, had a few steps. Now I'm just stuck on my way through obstacles to stop. I ran into my darkest days. She had light just to make the way. Pipe dreams don't seem to fake. Now I become about reality. I just want people to stop feeling this. Mark Harris, lately my life is a break. Constantly getting a chicken. While the homies be smoking and daily. Who would think every day was a chicken? Y'all have created a monster. What sacrifice you trying to offer? Detroit's very young, Crimson Alchemist. She just got off stage. You've seen the footage, I know you've seen it, and I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. Just go ahead, hit rewind if you wanna keep watching her footage. Crimson Alchemist, I know you got a new EP that just released, so I don't know if you wanna tell the people about it. Just go ahead and share some insight on where your inspiration came from, and you know, just all that good stuff, because we wanna know more about you. Okay, well, um, like you said, I go by the name of Crimson Alchemist. Um, grew up on the east side of Detroit. Okay. Graduated from Cass Tech. Okay. Class 2011. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my inspiration came from, you know, just growing up on East 7 Mile, you know, just seeing different things throughout my life and, you know, going through different experiences. And um, my latest project, Vance of Black, it's, um, it dropped actually on Black Friday a year ago. The anniversary is actually coming up. Um, it's just a seven track EP. Just talking about different things, you know, going from, you know, different lyricism aspects and then also introducing myself into Nerdcore, which is more so talking about like anime and, you know, okay. pop culture and, right. you know, cartoons. Right. I feel it. I mess with that. Because like, I know you mentioned being from the east side of Detroit. So when you make your music has growing up on the east side of Detroit and just, you know, knowing where you're from, has that kind of like motivated you to keep making music like is that where you get your passion from to keep doing what you're doing oh yeah absolutely like i grew up on east seven mile but also went to you know middle school over in the mac and Bewick area right so you know going over there you see a lot of stuff you right know, at a young age so yeah that was definitely an inspiration to like you know make a difference and try to you know make a change and find some play throughout the city right i feel you Hopefully you won't be one of those types where you blow up, because she's going to blow up regardless. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you won't be one of those types that blow up and then forget about where you came from, right? Absolutely. All right, I'm I, I just have to make sure. I, I couldn't even if I tried. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. So let's talk about the new project that you have coming out soon. I don't know if you want to give the people a quick glimpse of what you have going on, but if you just want to like share what it's about, what the basis of it is about, and you know, we all about motivating people, so like where the motivation came from and everything. Well, the new project is called the Elite Four. Okay. Um, it's gonna drop. Elite early. Four. You heard that. Elite we got it going right there. The Elite Four. Yep, it's called the Elite Four. It's gonna drop early spring. And um, basically, it is um, like I was saying before. You know, me introducing myself into nerdcore rap, and it's gonna be four key songs. It's inspired by. Uh, I'm not sure if you're a Pokemon fan or not, but you know, they had the Elite I'm a 90s baby, so oh, we, yeah, all yeah, yeah, we all yeah, about that. We all about that. All right, all right. Pokemon, we, Digimon, we all about <laughs> but, uh, yeah, all that. Yeah, it's four tracks, you know, basically, you know, ref, you know, anime references, you know, anybody out there that like mess with, you know, Yu Yu Hakusho, you know, Akame Got Killed, you know, pretty much everything. Okay. And when does that release again? You know, we want to make sure we're giving the people the right information. So when does that drop? You know, so they know exactly when to get it, where to get it, and just so they stay up to date on everything that you're releasing. Um, I don't have an exact date yet, but it is going to be early spring. I'm aiming for late March, early April, so okay. it's going to drop around then. And um, hopefully, I'll have like some visuals for that before it drops. So just be ready. Just hey, be ready for some lyricism. Hey, you heard it. Crimson Alchemist is going live in 2018. Spring of 2018 exactly. She said she got visuals, new music. If you missed an independent event, I'm sorry. 
go ahead and press the wine. But we are going live. Crimson Alchemist, it was a pleasure. Thank you for having us. And yeah, we're going to stay up to date with your career. And you know, once you reach to the top, don't forget about us now. Oh, of course yeah, don't not. Don't forget man. about the little guy. <laughs> nah, thank you so much for having Anytime. me. Anytime. This is where it begins. Love, love.